Hi Dave, can you just give us a summation of what was different this week to, to last if you could? Um, <clears throat> tackle percentage. Yeah, like we, um, yeah, last week we tackled really well and we made minimal mistakes. We always knew that was important against the All Blacks. Uh, today we turned the ball over a lot and, um, and then missed too many tackles, you know, uh, individual tackling was poor and you know, we got put under the heat from it. That strike three quickly after half time, three quick times, did that take it away? Do you feel you're in it at half time despite perhaps the position maybe being against you? Yeah, quality half time talk obviously. Um, yeah, look, I think it, uh, it scored a couple of quick tries and then um, um, we had a couple of opportunities, didn't we? Uh, Marika got held up over the line and then we got penalised <coughs> for, um, for rabbiting. So, you know, we scored there 2014, maybe, maybe we're in the mix. But, yeah, as I said before, you, you just can't give the All Blacks that much ball. They've got too many athletes who can hurt you. And, uh, you know, that's what we saw today. Dave, you made a couple of changes to the loose trio. How do you think <coughs> the balance was this week? Um, yeah, I, yeah, it's, it's certainly not a difference. Um, we made those changes based on individual performance. Um, so, yeah, I, I, I think right across the board we went as sharp as last week and gave them a lot of space and opportunity. Um, Dave, <coughs> the... Uh, what was the strategy with the kicking this week in terms of, uh, you know, obviously a pretty strong All Blacks back three. Was the, were there attempts to not basically kick back to them or was that just sort of bearing away? No, no, we, obviously we didn't want to give them time and space. So we wanted things to be competitive or contestable or, or find space in behind them as we did last week. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah, look, you know, some of our options weren't great and um, we got Caleb Clark bringing the ball back. Uh, he was a handful tonight. Uh, Michael, after the draw last week, how disappointed did you feel with uh, this performance? No, you know, we put a lot into this week. Um, saw it as a great opportunity to come here and, um, you know, change change a lot of years, um, but, you know, not to be. Um, you know, we did some nice things. We, you know, I think put the uh, put New Zealand under pressure really early. In, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> um, early in the piece, like, um, like Dave alluded to, in the start of the second half there or just after we you know, go over twice, um, two disallowed there. So, you know, we're doing some nice things, but you give New Zealand turnover ball, particularly after defending long passages, um, they make you pay, and they do today. I mean, this coming over this loss, but are there things then that you, that you make you feel optimistic or confident about for the next couple of times to play the All Blacks? Absolutely. There's a lot to like in our team. Um, you know, the way our staff are preparing us for a game, um, the way our boys are reacting to, you know, what staff are throwing at us. There's a lot to like here and a lot of hunger. Um, you know, we'll go back home now. Um, you, you know, two games of home soil. <coughs> Dave, with the missed tackles, is there an element of positivity there knowing that if you cut those out and the game could be quite different? It's something that <coughs> individuals can address relatively quickly? Yeah, yeah, that's true. Selection can sometimes fix that, can't it? Um, yeah, oh, look, we uh, we fell at half time. We'd we'd, we'd fallen off a lot of tackles and and gifted a bit of ball to the All Blacks, but we're down ten seven, so we're right in it. And the time we scored was when we had a sort of a reasonable continuity. <laughs> so yeah, look, we put them under pressure. I thought they scrambled really well. There's a couple of times where I thought we had to score and didn't. Um, yeah, oh, look, as mentioned, we've, we've got to be better. And, um, <coughs> you know, I, I think there was a lot of errors from both sides today, but uh, they were certainly sharper than us. Is there anything to Eden Park as, you know, as your first, I guess, international coach? Yeah. Well, you know, it's, it's been a few years, isn't it? So, yeah, I, like, I don't know. Look, the All Blacks are a good side. They don't, they don't lose many tests anywhere. So um, they've obviously been pretty successful here over <coughs> a long period of time. But uh, as we were saying during the week, they're, they're going to lose here one day. And, yeah, we were hoping it was a Sunday. Uh, David, regarding the attack, you said that you put the All Blacks under pressure more, more than once. Um, must be frustrating what, and not being able to put that ball over the line. Uh, what does it come down to? What do you think? Well, you know, you've got to keep putting the All Blacks under pressure. You know, they're a very fit side. They've got explosive athletes. 
and so you know they can defend for long passages and then and hurt you when you turn it over. So um, you know, we, like I say, we've we've, we've got to be able to apply pressure for longer periods. And uh, there was a couple of occasions where we were just not quick enough in, and they were able to create turnovers off that. They reefed a bit of ball out of our hands three or four times today, which you know, end up being soft turnovers. And so we've got to look after the ball better. But but we've there's lots of areas we need to be better. Um, but boys are working hard. Yeah, I'm pretty confident that in two weeks' time we're going to be a better side. Michael, the All Blacks vowed to be more physical this week, I guess, were they? And did that play a part in them being able to win by 20? Uh, both games pretty physical, in my opinion. <laughs> um, look, I think what they did well is they, they made us pay on our turnovers. So uh, when you're retreating, um, they're, you know, we're missing tackles, our line's going back and they're coming forward onto you, it's hard. Hard to make a big stop, hard to get to, um, guys into our breakdown to turn the ball over. Um, you know, last week, if you, if you compare that, we were able to get a nice defensive line, get up and make, um, you know, attacking or dominant defensive tackles. Um, so that was a difference there, probably why it looks quite physical on our end um, due to the missed tackles, um, not being able to build pressure there in defence. Dave, uh, Harry Wilson seemed to target Bowden Barrett quite a lot uh, defensively in that first half. Was that something that you talked about earlier in the week uh, to try and target him, nullify the attack? We didn't know he was playing earlier in the week, but um, thought he might. Um, look, yeah, Harry's a big man. Uh, any any big man gets anywhere near a little guy. He wants to have a crack at him, obviously. Um, yeah, it wasn't a bad shift from Harry. He actually spent uh, about 36 hours in hospital at the back end of the week, had an infection and so on. So uh, I thought he put in a pretty good shift. But um, but there's, there's no plan around, um, you know, targeting their little men. Uh, it's like all games, you know, nine and ten key playmakers. If you can put pressure on them, then then you do. And when you've got guys like Moanga who, and Barrett who play really flat to the line, they're going to get knocked over a few times. Dave, um Obviously, Jordy Pataio back, uh, pretty good impact off the bench, but how big a loss was Matsy Miller partway through that game? Yeah, well, he obviously he's, uh, he covers 10 for us. Um, he's uh, certainly, you know, an extra pivot, um, really good skill set, gives us a strong kicking game uh, from 10 and 12. And uh, so, you know, frustrating for him. He, uh, he sort of uh, tweaked his groin a few weeks back, um, playing for Rebels and... Uh, looks like he's done the same thing. Go online now. Have we got anyone online? I was just going to see how do you uh, see the Broder Boy series play together after that drop? Uh, he's got to win the next two. Dave, do you feel that you've got enough out of your bench or has the damage mostly been done by them? Um, someone's got a dog in the background. Um, yeah, look, I mean, the game was, uh, we were under pressure early. We, we got our bench early into the game. Uh, it, was a, it was a pretty physical encounter last week, and we we're conscious of the fact that um, some guys who played 90 uh, may not be able to go uh, deep into the game today. So, so we had a plan around that, and uh, some guys we had to put in a bit earlier, to be honest. Um, so from that perspective, you know, the bench did a pretty good job of, um, you know, stopping the bleeding. Um, you know, we, we just need to make sure that we can, we can you know, turn things around and, and uh, apply pressure with the ball. Uh, Dave, Hunter Bokani shipped into inside centre um, after Tim Lewis' injury. What did you make of his performance? And do you, do you see him being a possibility to, to start there next or in two weeks' time? Oh, look, I think Hunter's going great. Um, you know, a young man who wasn't even sure if he'd play Super Rugby at the start of the year, so he started the first two tests. And and uh, yeah, look, I thought he made a good fist of moving into 12. And uh, we, we do have some pretty good options um, um, who, who didn't play today as well. Um, Edo Simone uh, being one one fellow who's spent a bit of time over here in New Zealand and a uh, big part of the Brumbies setup. So uh, we, we do have some options, but yeah, I thought Hunter was strong. Michael, they seem to base a lot of their play off their line-out more. Is that a specific area that you think you're going to have to uh, look at more? Yeah, I thought we were ill-disciplined there. Back-to-back um, -back penalties and, 
you find yourself five or ten metres out from your own line. Again, you can't can't allow that to happen. Our discipline felt, um, you know, for 60 minutes of the game, quite uh, quite heavy on our shoulders there. So we're going to be better there. Um, you know, it's a a pretty simple way to get get the ball down the field when you're kicking it 40 metres off a off a pen. So um, we've got to sharpen that area up for sure.